Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Robert, the Daily Trader. It is May 4th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla is up uh, 59 cents, uh, that's 0.37%, closed at 161.20. Post market, we seem to be up by nine cents. So let's look at what we have here on the chart. So, uh, well, things are not moving along very well. We are just into this congestion zone and we have been stuck in there for the past since April 20th. Pretty boring, if you ask me. We are still in our downward resistance. We don't have much to do here. This is just a congestion zone. It's a very tight one. Let's go take a look at the one hour chart. What can you do here? There's not much that uh, we can play on. We are stuck uh, between uh, 158.73 on the one hour chart to 165. There's at most uh, 300 bucks there to be uh, made with an option, but this is not worth the trouble. In terms of the indicators, uh, everything is uh, bearish. This is hanging in there by a thread right now. Let's go back to the daily chart. So on the daily chart, let's look at our indicators. So uh, stochastic at 22, MACD in the tank, RSI at 38, and DMI also in the tank. To have a significant move, we need to start breaking this downward resistance. Let's go right away to uh, QQQ and the VIX and the stock and the C. So in terms of QQQ, yeah, we are officially out of this uh, bullish channel right here. Bullish channel, we are out of it. Yes, it's one candle. Yes, we said that we were going to give it some leeway at 313.61, so we can do that. But it's continuing down. VIX, yeah, I wanted to get to the VIX. Look at the VIX. VIX up 1.75, 1 9.55%. This is climbing fast. Stochastic at 78. So it's quite up there. We are under 20. We broke 20 during the day and came back down. Things are happening. During the past three days, we have the volatility in the market that have increased a lot. So this is good if you own some options. So your options are worth more because the volatility in the market is higher. So the probability that your options uh, become intrinsically valuable is higher. So your premiums are worth more. But we need to watch this every single day, this VIX. In the worst case scenario for the stock market, the VIX would be shooting up like this and we would see a little bit of a crash in the stock market. I don't know if this is what is going to happen. But if we start breaking 20 and then breaking 22, after we start breaking 22, then we can start to worry a little bit. What's the effect on Dow Jones? So Dow Jones also down today, not too bad. And we see that it just, it just stopped that support at 32,874. It's jumped there and it's outside of this bullish channel right now. Yes, it's only one candle and yes, it's very close. So we could give it a pass for uh, one more day and check tomorrow what's happening. S&P 500, we just lost our bullish channel right here. We are in line here at the same low as we had on April 26th. The same low right here. There's a little bit of support there. NASDAQ Composite is continuing down. Let's see if we break 11834. And also for NASDAQ, we still have this big this big upward channel. Even if we were coming back here, there's a chance that we bounce on it here. Maybe this is just a little bit of a fluke that's happening right now in the VIX and we are going to recover this part. I don't know. Nobody knows. We just have to watch and see what is happening in real time. In terms of physical gold, so gold is inching higher, so 0.95% up. So we broke $16 right now. As I said yesterday, we had our buy signal right here uh, yesterday because we broke an important horizontal resistance with a good stochastic. I think we had, yes, we had stochastic at 78 and now it's at 88. Let's hope that this is giving us a little bit of a push. And for silver, the same thing with silver. So silver, I was mentioning, uh, let's wait until it breaks 885. This would help. We should wait at least for that. We have broken this. 
yes, we can always find horizontal resistance that may stop us. So yes, we have one right here. I don't think it is as uh, important as the resistance that we had right here and right here that were from a long time ago. So uh, this one here, I, I feel like it's a little bit less important. So we'll see what happens to it. And uh, also we had a very tight uh, bullish channel right here. So let me talk about this. We had a very tight bullish channel right here. And when we have a tight bullish channel, I always say it won't last long. This one has lasted two, three weeks. So this is quite long. But then at some point, it's going to come out of it. It's going to do a pullback. And then the real bullish channel will appear. So the real bullish channel is right here. This is, this is our bullish channel right here. So let's just draw the whole thing. I'm going to do it here for now. So yeah. So uh, this could be sustained. Next up, we could be looking at 988. Bitcoin now. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin still in a congestion zone right here. Still in this little bit of a bullish channel. We don't have stochastic over 60, but we are maintaining ourselves quite well. This is a red candle. So we closed lower than where we closed yesterday. But if you look at the candle in itself, at the entirety of the candle, we made a higher high and we made a higher low. And this is quite higher than the last candle. This is not looking too bad for a red candle. We don't have stochastic over 60 yet. Then in terms of stochastic, there's no force yet, even though we are climbing higher and higher. We'll see. The jury is still out on this one. In terms of uh, Ripple, Ripple is also maintaining itself quite well, making uh, a little bit of a higher low again. Stochastic is not really good. We still need a little bit more data on this one. And... Uh, uh, US dollar, well, happy to see that US dollar is holding this support. We broke it during the day, but came back up. So far, it is holding. It is holding and Stagastic is rebounding a little bit. Uh, we'll see if it comes back uh, up on that Stagastic. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you.